Hey guys, welcome to Fantastic Frontier starting off new episode 7. Once again, you guys are giving me so many likes and subscribers, it's insane. Um, we're 20 away from 600, I think. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. Um, I've been uploading Fantastic Frontier episodes every 3 days or so. But anyways, we're gonna jump right into it with some tower runs. Um, as you can see, I'm not showing the tower runs themselves. I'm just showing the loot afterwards and how much money I make from doing so. And obviously we're using floor 40 skips. It would be not that fast if I wasn't. And there's going to be a lot of money making this episode, even though it's not as long of an episode as others. But obviously I have 15.9 mil now and I'm going to spend close to 900k on bullets because right now I'm planning on buying the star gun uh, it's by far one of my favorite weapons to use I don't really like the gun fists that's just me I know a lot of people prefer gun fists and say that they're better but in my opinion star gun is better um, with forgotten life and uh, an endurance ring you can shoot infinitely and you can't do that on the gun fist so I like the star gun so anyways, we hop around till we find this guy, finally find him and he's selling the star gun, which is great because we're definitely buying this weapon, which I would say is the late game weapon. I know the gnome rocket launcher is like a lot better and technically is the late game weapon, but this gun is just like, once you have it with some forgotten life pieces, you're pretty much able to do whatever you want in the game. So obviously we're going back to do some tower runs, we still have some floor 40 skips. And I don't think we get insanely lucky here with anything. Um, it's all pretty standard stuff, around 1 mil, 1.5 mil per run. Which, like I said in my previous episode, you can't really complain about that. Because you can get under a mil. And when that happens, you pretty much just hate yourself. So, so we have 2.9 mil now. And as you guys could probably guess, we're going to make our way to the last health upgrade. Um, which is right up here if you guys didn't know. It's not the junk man, it's the spirit over here. But anyways, it's 2.5 mil for 100 health, and that will bring us to 600 health now, which is the highest that you can get in the game currently. I don't think they'll ever make it more. Um, I mean, maybe years from now, but the way that they're putting out updates, probably not anytime soon for sure. But anyways, I figured I would take a break from some of the money making now that my Mandrake seed was done and I had the Gift Tree seed already planted. I'm able to go get my Nature's Wrath spellbook, but technically it is a free spellbook. Um, you do spend money, but you pretty much make that money back. So I, I just say it's free. And basically, once you have all the plants or seeds planted, you can enter this room. And then you make your way all the way to the end of the maze, which if you don't know how to do that, I have a video dedicated to showing you how to do that. So I skipped all of that, got the book, and at first I was debating on whether or not if I wanted to sell it, but obviously by my cash stack you could see that I didn't sell it. Went back to doing some tower runs. Um, we have two floor 40 skips on us. I'm not sure how many we have left. And right here, I was trying to decide if I wanted to switch back to the Vengeful Top or not, because I do more damage with the Sculptor's Armor Top that I got, but I can't infinitely shoot at the moment. And I figured I'd sell it because with the way that I'm making money, it's not going to be that long from now until I get the Forgotten Life Armor piece, so I figured I'd just keep what I had and sell that. And obviously, we have one Floor 40 skip left on us now. And this run was kind of a decent one. Um, we're up to 3.2 mil cash now, which is great. And as you guys could see, I didn't leave the server and go to my private server after this one. So there's people in this one. If you didn't know, after every tower run, it puts you back into a public server, which can get pretty annoying. And my recordings actually glitched. Um, so I did jump from 3 mil to 10 mil right there. I did my last three floor 40 skips that I had. And I sold my Nature's Wrath spellbook. So 1 mil per run is 3, and then 3 mil from the book, which is 6, gave us around 10 mil. Found this guy, decided to buy the Forgotten Life plate body. 
and for a lot of you you probably won't sell that spell book but for me I have it on three three accounts well I did have it on three this was my third and I don't have any reason to have it because it, I just it does it has no use for me personally so basically we're gonna go farm some loss now which is long overdue this is by far the best way to make money if you have a friend or two um, you can still get lucky obviously and make a lot more money here than you would at the tower but it's definitely just all luck but if you have two people three people the amount of time it takes to kill this one time is so fast it's by far the best money maker in the game and I might make a video showing the best way to kill it with three people because I did join a couple people in the Discord server on my main account killing it and nobody really had a good strategy on it. And me and a couple of my friends actually found out a decent way to do it. So I might make a video on that, I'm not too sure yet. But basically right here, if you're wondering why I have my tough green ring out in my inventory, I decide to switch to the tri-color color necklace for the 25 damage and I want to switch to the high tower ring I think it's called that gives you range and armor and as you guys can see I'm going to my chest getting my last floor 40 skip because I don't have enough money for the ring yet so I do the run and I do end up getting the blade of the throne which is a really good drop as you can see it sells for 2 mil but I do decide to keep it just because it's a nice weapon to have it doesn't really have a use for me personally it kind of helps out on um, wave 42 I think it is it, it can do work if you go into the magic form of it but anyways we have enough money now so we're gonna buy the high tower ring and 30 range 3 armor not bad um, we can't technically infinitely shoot now but I can kill the lost before I run out of stamina so it's not a big deal and obviously we decided to farm the lost because we were out of floor 40 skips and we didn't have a lot of money on us as you can tell so obviously we can't buy more floor 40 skips which makes doing the otherworldly tower not so great um this is just a better money maker because i think it i'm soloing it and i think i can do it in like two minutes maybe less and obviously you only get like 100k 50k usually but you can get items to sell for two mil uh three mil one mil like you can get a lot of good drops from this so definitely why i decided to do this for money but basically the series is pretty much just gonna be farming lost and doing tower runs now because those are the best ways to make money unless they ever have an update that changes that or provides new content that's pretty much all that i have left to upload about so i don't know if i'll continue with the series but i might still upload videos every three days of just loot from this and making more money and trying to buy the most expensive items or maybe even all the items that the game has not too sure um i know a lot of people recommended that i do more like tips on like the tower explain what to do on every wave and everything I, I can do that too um a few of you recommended other games i did try out elemental battlegrounds and it does seem pretty fun so if that was something that you guys wanted to see i could make videos on that and if you have i know i asked in my previous video but i'll just ask again if you guys have any ideas on what you'd want to see even if it's fantastic frontier related or not uh feel free to let me know I do have some plans coming up near Christmas um, for a video and to help out you guys for people that don't have as much time to play the game to make money. Um, I, I guess I'll give a little spoiler to that. I, uh, I've been collecting red beans on my main account, which if you guys didn't know, red beans, when you eat them, you'll poop out a present and then somebody else can also claim that present and get a reward. So I'll be giving away some presents to you guys. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. I'm collecting a lot of red beans right now because it does take quite some time to get a decent number of them. But expect that in the future. But anyways, back to the video. Obviously, we haven't gotten anything too crazy. Um, we got a few 1 mil items earlier. And 
you can get extremely good things. Um, like, I just got 330 bullets. They're actually not even that bad because I don't use that many per kill, so I'm profiting still. And the only two things you really don't want to see is the clock, which I just get right there. And I think Bag of Gems, those are the two uh, least amount items that you can get, I believe. Everything else is around 50 or 60,000 gold. And the good thing about Lost, um, well, I don't know if it's good, some of you might like it, some of you may not, but you actually don't even need to do damage to get loot. Um, if you had the hidden key and you came in, and then I went in and killed it, you would still be able to open the chest, even if you didn't do damage to him at all. So it's like, it's a good way to make money if you aren't that good yet, but you do need to get the hidden key before you go there, which is kind of like the stopping point because getting to the hidden key is kind of difficult. If you have a friend helping you, it's it's not the worst thing, but it's still pretty difficult because everything on the road well, anyways, will kill you. as you guys can see, we definitely got some bad loot and a few good ones. Um, nothing too crazy, but this one right here was definitely the highlight because we got the tri-blade uh, shifter, I think it's called. Yeah, tri-blade shifter. Um, it's definitely one of the better items you can get from Lost. I think it's tied with a few others for selling price, but it is like one of the best. And since I got that, I do end up deciding to sell my Blade of the Throne and keep the Tri-Blade now because this is like my new best weapon for traveling. Um, it's not as good as the Funky Driftlander because you do run out of stamina, but it's, as you guys can see, I wanted to just show it a little bit how far you could go with the Forgotten Life Armor. Um, Funky Driftlander is just infinite though, so it's definitely better, but getting this item for free, I figured I might as well keep it until I got the Funky Driftlander and then I could sell this, but it is pretty fun to zoom around like that. But yeah, I decided to sell the Blade of the Throne, so now we're at 5.5 mil. Uh, definitely made a lot of money this episode, as you guys can tell. Uh, once you get to the late, late game, or kind of later on mid game, I guess you could still call it, um, you pretty much just make as much money as you want to. Uh, there's not really anything else to say about it. I mean, the videos speak for themselves. I think it was maybe two weeks ago when I started the series, so within two weeks I got all the health upgrades, full forgotten life, star gun, um, the list just goes on and on I guess, but the game definitely isn't as hard for new players as it once was, which is kind of good, but if you don't know what to do it's still very hard, so the game could still be pretty hard on all the new players because they, they just don't know what to do and they're overwhelmed by everything. So hopefully uh, if you guys have anyone that's new that is playing, give them some tips, or if you don't want to, just point them in the direction of my episode 1 to give them like a decent idea on what to do. Because I feel like this game is one of the better ones on Roblox, and if it had more attention, I feel like a lot more people would actually play it and enjoy it. And I think I've said this before, I wouldn't really recommend soloing Lost because it's, I mean, I I don't know if I wouldn't recommend it, but if you have a friend or two people that can do it with you, by all means, that should be what you're doing, because unlike the tower, it doesn't get harder with more people, so it just gets easier, and you don't get less loot, you get the same loot, so obviously, with two people, you're doing it twice as fast, with three people, you're doing it three times, well, technically, three times as fast, but... Um, if they have the same stuff you have, the same setup. You just kind of have to learn what to do and how to make the servers not crash because when you're doing Lost, if you're all clicking the chest at the same time or leaving the door at the same time and re-entering at the same time, uh, you'll get glitched and spawn at the deli. But if you guys all do it in order, you won't ever teleport to the deli and it makes it so much faster. I'll probably make a video on it, like I said earlier, because I feel like not a lot of people know about it, but... And if a lot of you want me to make um, 
a video on all of the floors of the tower and explain what I do on all of them, let me know in the comments. I know I think uh, two of you, maybe three, uh, were asking how I beat the tower and how I got so far without dying or taking damage and I can make a video showing all of it. A lot of the early waves like probably 1 through 20 are pretty simple but maybe some of you guys don't know and want to see something like that. So if that's something that you guys want, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make it. Um, if not, I know I say this a lot but to go ahead and just throw out ideas of stuff that you would want to see, stuff that you would want to watch because I'm more than happy to make that kind of stuff for you guys. But that is going to be pretty much it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We're getting close to 600, so that would really mean a lot to me. And like I said earlier, make sure to pay attention for one of my videos because I'm going to be giving away a lot of presents to you guys for anyone that wants to make money but just doesn't have the time. That will definitely help you out. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video, so thank you guys for watching it, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.